Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Greg and this is Jess, we're Drift to Journey. We've got a special video for you today. Oh, I forgot to tell you. And Lupe. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and purchase our Amazon link if you buy anything on Amazon because we get pennies on the dollar and it helps us keep this thing going. So what are we gonna do today? We are gonna show you how to make the best ceviche that we've ever had. That's right. So, what do you need? Step one. Get yourself some fish. Fish. <laughs> Labeled fish. Uh, for your fish though, you're gonna want the freshest fish you can get. Uh, preferably, get it like this. And how much of that do you want? I don't know, about a pound or two. Um, preference would be a white, a white firm fish from the sea. Yeah, you can also make it with shrimp or lobster if you want to buy it from the lobster. store. Whew, sounds expensive. I know. So we're using cochita, which is triggerfish, and it is good. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into it and show you how to make this happen. So step two, and I'm going to stop counting the steps because I'm going to forget them, <laughs> would be to get a ton of limes. Yep. So um, the ingredients that you're going to want for this include... Um, I'll put a recipe in the description. I don't really follow the recipe. I just kind of like make it You're to... making it the same every time basically. Yeah, but I eye up how much to add. So yeah. uh, you need limes, salt, pepper, you need uh, Roma tomatoes, cucumbers, and the fish. And the fish. Oh, and, and a serrano pepper. Yeah, serrano pepper. But some people also may want to add cilantro. And garlic. And garlic. Did you talk about the onion? That you needed? Oh, red onion too. See, you need red I, onion. I just kind of make it as I go. See, I remembered that. <laughs> but some people add garlic and cilantro. We do not. True. And then you're going to want tostadas. Mm -hmm. um, mayonnaise. Possibly mayonnaise if hot you sauce. like mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise, so we use mayonnaise, yeah, and hot sauce. Um, and yeah, so let's uh, make this happen. So these fillets have already been uh, deboned, so I'm just going to start cutting them into bite-sized pieces and I like a little bit bigger piece than what you would typically get in ceviche that you buy at a tostada stand or at a fish market so uh, my Cutco scissors come in handy for this you could also just lay them out and chop them on a cutting board but I don't really have a cutting board for that so disclaimer raw or uncooked Food could be dangerous. We're not responsible if you get sick. Make at your own risk. Okay, so now we have a pot full of fish and now we're just going to squeeze as many limes as it takes to get that basically covered in lime juice. I found that for about two pounds of fish. It takes about 10 to 15 regular limes. These are pretty small, so I'm probably gonna have to do about 20. So once it's submerged, you just mix it up a little, pull out any lime seeds, and then pat it down so that it's all in there. And then what? So if you have a Tupperware with a lid, it's better to do that in uh, this process in that so that you can close it up. Um, we don't have one of those. I do not have one of those, so I will put my pot in a bag. Like so, and 
wrap it up tight. I'm going to put this in the fridge so you can keep it in the lime juice to your level of doneness. Um, anywhere from one to four hours. One hour is more raw. Four hours is more done. We like it around two, two and a half hours. So uh, we'll pull this out in a couple hours and then I'll show you what to do next. Two hours is our dream number. We've heard people going as little as 20 minutes. Uh, and the lime juice is curing the fish, not necessarily cooking the fish. Right, but we like a really limey flavor too, so the longer you leave it in there, the limier it is too. Two hours. Go have a drink and come back. Yeah. All right, everybody, while well, we're waiting on that fish to be ready so we can go to the finishing stages of making amazing ceviche, we're gonna be telling you about our sponsor for this video and how you can get a discount on it. Uh, Epic Water Filters, is the sponsor for this video and hopefully for the rest of the year they are out of colorado and they make some pretty awesome products so they have water filters that go in nalgene's water filters that go in glass bottles if you're worried about using plastic bottles they have um, pitchers that you can put in your fridge at home they have a big tank that you can put in your fridge at home to have clean drinking water so check out their website we have a link below and use drifter journey all caps for a 20 percent discount on your order all right two hours has elapsed i got a shower and changed we took the dog for a walk she thinks it's dinner time for her but it's not quite and we're gonna finish making this stuff so we're going to take the fish out and drain the lime juice and then make all the fixings and get it together. Okay, so the first step is just get the fish out of the lime juice and I need to use this pot to mix. So I'm putting it, the fish in this bowl first, then I have to dump the lime juice and then I have to put it all back in because I only have one big container. But if you are doing this at home, then I would pick a large bowl and put your fish in a large bowl that is big enough to accommodate the fish and all of the things that you're gonna add to it, like the tomato and the cucumbers. And then we're gonna close the slider since even though you guys wanna see our beautiful beach view where we're making this, we're really Hard dark to in see here. Me. <laughs> yeah. Pro tip, I like to do the serrano pepper first because if they're really spicy, you wanna be able to get them into your fish and stir it in and distribute it evenly before you add everything else and it gets harder to mix in. batch the size I use two Roma tomatoes and one whole cucumber so I'm gonna do those next and then I'll add in red pepper just to the amount that I like we are or sorry red onion we don't like a lot of onion so I'm gonna go light on that I remove the guts from the tomato like so so that there's not too much seed and liquid in the ceviche from the tomato. Way to miss the beginning of putting the cucumber in there. What are you doing now? Stirring it all together. Make sure I have good distribution. And then I'll add in the red onion. And then you can put salt and pepper in. Period. Next is the red onion, so I just cut off a chunk and I'm just going to dice up a little bit and stir it in and see if I think that's enough for our personal tastes. And stir it in, you're just going to look at it or you're going to taste it? 
I'll just look at it. <laughs> Very excited to finish. Do we have a link to Hanson Surfboard at the bottom for that nice shirt you're wearing? Sure, we can provide a link to Hanson's. If you like this shirt and half of the clothes that we wear in most of our videos, uh, we get them at Hanson's in Encinitas, California. <laughs> All right, there you have it, folks. The best home made van made ceviche uh so this batch we didn't even use all the fish actually um will feed us probably twice so you can probably feed maybe even more than that huh um yeah this is probably like two dinners yeah two dinners so solid batch four people a dinner or two people two dinners yeah and so yeah we've been getting the mission marisqueras uh, because I think that says something about the ocean um, <laughs> tostadas de corn maize um, down here in Mexico because I think they're a little thicker we did it we actually bought both kinds and we think these are thicker. We don't know the difference for sure, but I'm pretty sure they're thicker, so they hold up better for ceviche. And then we're gonna use a little Heinz mayonesa con limon. I don't know if you can find that in the States, but Mexico, pretty easy to come by. Optional. My favorite, Le Salsa Picante. It's just a kind of mild hot sauce that's great on everything. It's comparative to uh, Valentina if you're looking for hot sauce in the States. But way better. Yeah. And it's like 50 cents a, a bottle down here. Yeah. And then Mexico Lindo Salsa Seven Mares, uh, which is a hotter sauce, which is always at all the ceviche stands and seafood places. So we got this one, Blue Top. So, so to yeah. make a tostada, you gotta do a little layer of mayo. This is personal preference. I put a lot on. Mayo. Then you put on your ceviche mix. Like so. And then you just put some hot sauce on top. Um, other toppings could include cilantro, onions, lime juice. Um, yeah, some people put fresh squeezed squeezed lime on the finished product and avocado you could do avocado but ours well. is plenty limey that we don't add more yeah and another thing i'll note we like bigger chunks for everything yeah i said that when i started cutting you did mm -hmm. okay yeah we've had ceviche with like super fine cut or like super fine fish and can kind of get slimy or like it has that mushy, mushy feeling big chunks where it's at yeah. Okay guys, that is a wrap on how to make some really good ceviche at home. <laughs> um, make sure you comment and let us know what you think about this video and let us know what else you'd like to see. But we had fun making it because we were looking forward to eating it. Yeah, definitely. Anything else? Um, if you try it, let us know what you think. That's it. Triggerfish. Trigger fish is the key. <laughs> Have we made it with anything? Oh, we also made it with cornet fish mixed with trigger fish, which was also good. And scorpion fish. We've had it with scorpion fish too, mm -hmm. which was also good. Basically, I think fresh fish is really the key. Fresh fish. Yeah. And a firm white fish. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bon appetit.